Papa gonna review Strawberry Shortcake Spring Spectacular. It's 45 minutes. I can honestly say the first time we watched it, we weren't that into it. We watched like a few minutes and then we all kind of got distracted and wandered off. Then when I put it on again, we were pretty into it, right? We got past that exposition and we got into the actual story, which is there's this popular girl, the rich girl, and she has the money to get this float. And then you have Strawberry Shortcake and her friends, and they're doing their own float. And of course, it's not as big and fancy and everything like that. So they're trying to come up with ways. Strawberry Shortcake kind of gets sucked into what the popular girl said, which is do whatever you got to do, right? To win, like follow the trends, be popular, you know, do all that stuff. And so she kind of gives in and then the popular girl retaliates and these vines go crazy all over their little town and float and whatever. And that's it. But essentially what the story is about is spending more time outside, not being on your phone all the time and having fun with your friends and just having a good time instead of focusing on the trends and what's popular and just liking what you like and doing what you do because strawberry shortcake she's about what strawberry shortcake right baking she's all about baking and she's about growing her flowers and her friends and stuff like that and that's what it ends up being about and it's 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 a good story it ends up being pretty good i remember short strawberry shortcake from when i was a kid I remember my sister had this strawberry shortcake figurine, these figurines, and it smelled like kind of strawberry shortcake. It was plastic. I don't know if it was scratch and sniff, but it was, you could smell it. It had a scent to it. And I remember it being pleasant. Yeah. So that's what I remember. So I was like, oh, this, hopefully this is fun. It's not the same. It's different, of course, but it's still enjoyable. It was more for my girls. My girls were into it. It was fun. It was enjoyable. It, it was a good time. So... That being said, Strawberry Shortcake Spring Spectacular on Netflix, which is only 45 minutes for the kids as my girls loved it, who are four and two. For the girls, definitely a must see. Talk nerdy to me. Check out our merch of the month on TNTMTheShow.com, the store, which is on sale with free shipping. It is this stuff right here, which I just pre-ordered for this month. It is Fallout and X-Men, as well as Star Trek, and some Star Wars. But yeah, this one is the VATS, where it's a, the small percentage, and it says, so you're telling me there's a chance, like the meme, where it is Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber saying that, and I was like, and it's in the Fallout lettering. I love Fallout, fell in love with Fallout 3, and I still need to play 4. I really enjoyed and like New Vegas, still love 3 more. Have always loved X-Men, so this, I love this. It really makes me feel like I am one of the X-Men, like I'm one of the gifted youngsters of Charles Xavier's school, and I can't wait to slap this on everything. I'll probably make it a little smaller on shirts, just because it seems like a little big, but uh, this is perfect for the hoodie. This is a medium, the shirt is a small, the small is tight, but it's a small, so I expect that. The the medium, it's a little small, so I would get a next size up if I'm a medium for most stuff, so get the next size up. So I'm glad that I actually got a medium for this because usually I get smalls, but I was like, yeah, it's a jacket, so I'll get a medium. What's great about our merch is that 5% of our profit goes to our charity of the month. We pick a char different charity for each month to donate to, and that is going to be Autism Speaks for the month of April. Last month, we actually got someone to donate $2 to our previous charity of the month for March, which was the Center for Reproductive Rights for Women's Month. So thank you to whoever did that. We set that up on our Instagram and we do not care if you donate directly to the charity or you donate through us by buying our merch. Now, obviously we want you to buy our merch, but we want to make a positive difference in our community and the world. And so we thank you, even if you go directly to the source instead of through us. I mean, obviously we want you to support this, these uh, sweet threads, but that's, that's fine if you do that too. In fact, that's probably better because you're going straight to them, straight to the source. Thank you for that. We really appreciate you helping them. That one, you, you didn't help us help them. I mean, you kind of did because you went through our page to do it, but I really appreciate that. So thank you for helping them. And once again, for Autism Speaks, 
help us help them by getting some of the sweet merch or just donating to the charity directly through our Instagram. Talk nerdy to me.